In this video, I'm gonna show you how to preview samples in context in Reaper. Now the purpose of this video is to show you how to preview your samples, or in this case, drum samples, in real time in context in Reaper. In other words, while a song is playing, we could hear how the sound's gonna work with the other sounds in our production. So our project set up here with some program drums, a bass, and a guitar loop. Let's hear it now while viewing the MIDI notes. And as we can see, we have a kick sample, a snare, and two hi-hats. And if we go to the effects on the drum track, we could see I'm using four samples in here, using resample matic 5000 as my sample playback. But in this situation, I wanna try out different samples to see if a few of them work better with the sounds around this. Again, our bass and our guitar loop. So let's start off with the kick. Let's close this. I'm gonna to go to view and choose the Media Explorer, which you could also open up using the keyboard shortcut, or control X on the PC, or option command X on the Mac. Choose it, and that opens up the Media Explorer, where we can find drum samples that are on our computer. Everything in this video, I downloaded myself and created a sound library folder. And we can see I have folders for different types of sounds. Like my kick folder, if I open it up, I have multiple folders with more kick samples. But to make it easier to find these and see them all and hear them all together, I'm gonna to choose this folder and right click it and make a database of this folder, which puts it over here I'm going to rename it removing db. Now it shows up here. And over here, you can see the folder's name along with the sample's name. So I could see and hear all my kicks in one place, making it much easier to hear them in context with our song. Now, typically, I leave this option on, which is going to automatically preview my samples when I click them. But for this purpose, I want to leave this off. So when I choose them, I don't hear them right away. We'll hear them triggered in context. So let's move this to the right, right click the effects on the drum track, and just choose my kick. And we can drag and drop any of these samples into here while the song is playing. Again, we'll turn off the preview. So if I choose my sounds, they don't play but they will play if we drag and drop them into here. So let's give it a shot. Starting with this kick, drop it into here, play the song and move through it, hearing the different samples and choosing my favorite. I think I like this one. Again, we could hear it in context with the rest of the production. And try different ones just by dragging them from here. And try the same thing with the snare. Right click, choose our snare, but switch this to a database I already created for my snares. And let's try the same thing.
I think I'm liking this one. Again, we heard it in the context of our production to see if the snare is going to work with our bass, the guitar loop, and the other drums we already chose. Now let's try changing out the hi-hat. Again, we'll right-click the hi-hat to open it up. We're using this one now. But I want to try a different one. I've already set up my hi-hats as a database so I could hear them in here. But instead of dragging them from the Media Explorer to the sampler, we can create a custom action to do this for us. We'll go up here to the Actions menu and choose Show Action List. Then we'll go to the section Media Explorer and go to the filter and type in Next. And we'll choose the action Select Next File in Directory. Then we'll choose New Action, New Custom Action. And that creates a new custom action starting with selecting the next file in the directory. Then we'll give it a name and go back to the filter and search sample player. And then we'll choose for our next step in our custom action to insert our sample into the active sample player. So we'll drag it over. So this custom action is going to select the next file in the directory and insert it into our sample player. So we'll save it. And the custom action shows up right here. Then I'm going to right click and duplicate it because I want to create two of them one to move up and one to move down. Then we'll right click to edit the second one. Let's rename it to previous. Then we'll remove this action and replace it with select previous file in directory. Drag that over and put it first and save this custom action. Now we can see them both over here. So now we can just assign keyboard shortcuts to each. I'm going to use a bunch of modifiers and the down key to go down the list, and a bunch of modifiers and the up key to go up the list. So this custom action is going to go to the next file in the Media Explorer and put it in our sampler. And this custom action is going to go to the previous sample and put that one in our sampler. So now, instead of having to click each one and drag them over, we could just use our keyboard shortcuts. And they're not just chosen, they're also added to the sampler. And we can go down or up our list. So now we could do this while our song is playing and hear each sample in context with the music. I think I like that one the best. And as you can see, by using this method, we could hear them in context with our song, giving us the ability to preview them in the production. So that's pretty much it. That's how to preview samples in context in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.